Since we arrived in Hobart, there has been a lot of rain. We were anchored at Prince of Wales Bay, but decided to go alongside a Constitution Dock to be a little bit more central. Pequeno pesmeroscópio, papel, pantalão, pananeiro, prefeitura, passo, pressão, propriedade particular, pinto, laca, pim, papo, papel. Sim, exatamente o que eu falei. We are at Constitution Dock, right at the center of the city in Hobart, and we're getting ready to go for a walk. It's a new thing for us, like usually on a swing mooring and you know, not that close to facility. So this is like pretty much a treat. And now we're going to explore a little bit the town. And it's Vito's first day at work. Um, which is one of the reasons that we came to Hobart because we sort of need to, we wish we didn't have to but we're gonna have to stop along the way and work for a little bit, cash up so we can keep on going and yeah, that's it. I hope he's having a good first day. We were a bit concerned that um, it would be too loud to be where we are, like right there because it's like right in the middle of the town and you know there's cars passing but the city sort of goes really quiet um, after eight or nine for a short period of time it's like we have a little unit right in the in the center of the city so it's, it's pretty cool E o nariz? E os olhos? Muito bem, o rabo? O rabo? E o pé? A pata. Como que faz a foca? Ela bate palma? On our first day walking about, we found a couple of op shops. I always try to buy everything second hand when we need something. On our way back home, we bumped into a really good looking tradie. Check out his work style. First day okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather be sailing. <laughs> The next day, me and Tori visited the local library. They do something pretty neat I haven't seen before here. 
They pack books on age-appropriate bags to borrow, which is such a great idea. Yeah, so we are in Hoba and I got a job uh, pretty much on the first day that I went looking for a job and what I did is I took a device from a friend so I dressed up like a boat owner and I hit the yard and I was looking for the mechanics looking for someone to service my boat and I saw one of the, the guys um, in the yard and I asked hey man um, are you one of the mechanics yeah he said where's the boss I said oh man we're pretty busy the boss is on that boat over there and I said do you think I could have a chat with him he said oh man he's really busy eh? and so I said oh, okay whatever and then I approached the boat and I was there just waiting for him to um, have a minute he said yeah how can I help you mate and I said um, well I need someone to service my boat by the end of the week and then I got my not a chase only next year and I said no I'm actually joking my I'm a marine mechanic and I'm looking for work and he said oh have you got 10 minutes I said got all the time in the world so we had a chat and got a job you know straight away demon Zima Marine in um, Prince of Wales Bay and yeah it's good to be back on the tools getting my hands dirty and catching up a bit yeah on Friday we met up with some friends that moved down here at the Franklin Markets On Saturday, we went to the busy, touristic Salamanca markets. In Tasmania, you would find the best apples, cherries and berries in general. <laughs> Sunday, Vito went to check out the Bike Kitchen, a co-op where you contribute with five bucks and put a bike together. What a wonderful initiative. They don't buy or sell bikes here and they don't fix it for you, but they'll teach you how to fix it yourself and they'll provide all the tools. In the afternoon, we went to the museum for an open family day and learned a bit about the Tassie Devils. On the museum, there is an entire floor dedicated to the connection between Tasmania and Antarctica. We learned that 42% of Antarctica belongs to Australia and Tasmania has a long history of scientific research down on the icy continent. Well, a bit about Antarctica. First, it's cold. Temperature ranks to nearly minus 90 degrees Celsius. Its huge masses of ice reaches over 5,000 meters above sea level. That's more than half an Everest. It is the windiest place on Earth, with winds reaching up to an astonishing speed of 300 kilometers per hour. And the air is just too cold to hold any moisture. It is the world's driest place, ranking with the Sahara Desert. We heard you can see the Aurora Australis from the top of Mount Wellington here in Herbert. Hope to get lucky enough to see it, but this is what it looks like. Aurora Australis from space. We 
That's it from us this week. Really happy to be here. Tune in next week as we found our grounds around town. Love is all around.